Hi, I've been asked to show how to include a Twitter feed into a Blackboard shell and there are two, or Twitter stream, a Twitter search uh, term um, there, there are a couple of ways of doing it, oh there are probably lots, but I'm going to show two one is um, uses RSS and the other uses um, is more advanced and uses something called jQuery uh, I actually prefer the second way myself um, but um, the first way is worth looking at just because it allows you to bring in lots of RSS feeds relatively easily. So uh, we'll start up with our Blackboard, um, this is our playpen in our Blackboard um, site. This is where we do our testing. So I've created a content area, we'll open that up and there's nothing in there. So what we need to do is find an RSS feed to, to add. I've got the uh, age here, so we'll scroll down to the bottom and we'll select the RSS feeds and we'll scroll down and let's just choose one of them, that's the national and we'll copy that. Now we're going to use this um, third party service called our RSS uh, feed oh sorry, feed to JavaScript and it allows you to take an RSS feed and it will generate some code for you that you can put in your page so it's at uh, feed to js dot org now it's pleasure to read on this website, I won't go through it all, we'll just go into the uh, build uh, section, it's got a nice little tool to help you build it and it asks for the web address of the RSS feed, now we just copied that from the age so we can paste that in and then we can preview what we're going to get and that's the uh, site as it uh, that's the sort of data that we're going to get back and we'll just leave that as it is for the moment so we'll close that but that's that's happy we're happy with that so let's generate the JavaScript and we get the JavaScript uh, there this is what we need to include in our in our blackboard site so let's copy that and move back into a blackboard area this is our examples uh, test area so we're going to build some content let's add an item and we're going to call this the age um, oh no we'll call it uh, national stories and let's flick into now this is the text area that would normally be the, the content of the item we're actually going to um, put it into uh, HTML source mode and then paste the JavaScript from feed to JS dot org we'll get rid of that and then we'll click submit and you can see that it's brought up the age national stories so we'll turn editing mode off so we can see how it looks a bit neater and there we go easy easy peasy we've brought in all of the uh, content from the age uh, national stories RSS feed now what if you wanted to do, do that for Twitter so let's close well let's go to Twitter um, so we'll go over here and if we go to search.twitter.com and we can do a search search for banana and it brings us up with current search results for uh, banana uh, but we also have an RSS feed here for this query. So we click on this, we can do exactly the same as we did for the uh, for the age top stories. And what we want here is the uh, the address. So let's copy that, and let's go back into Blackboard, and we'll turn editing on again, and let's uh, add a new item, and we're going to call this. Twitter banana search and I oh know sorry we haven't been into I've jumped a step we need to put it back into feed to JS don't we so we go back here we'll go build a feed uh, we'll, let's put the code in the, the address in for the um, banana search so we've got search.twitter.com search dot atom blah blah banana let's preview that okay so it's bringing up our banana search that's good but it's bringing up re repeats and I think that's because it's the title and the description are both the same in that Twitter feed in that RSS feed that comes out of Twitter let's close that down 
So let's um, just configure it slightly by saying we actually don't want to display those. So let's click no, because no is no descriptions. And let's preview the feed. And that's better. Uh, it might be slightly nicer if we added the times. So let's add in the posting date and preview that. And there we go, that looks a bit better still. So let's generate the JavaScript for this now. And what we can do is now copy that. And we'll go back into our Blackboard area. Now remember we were halfway through creating this um, item. So we've created this new item, it's Twitter, Banana Search. We'll click on the uh, view in HTML source mode and we'll paste that code in. We'll just get rid of that non-breaking space. And let's click Submit. And if we scroll down, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, and there's our Twitter banana search. Okay. So let's turn edit mode. Well, actually, what we'll do, let's just get rid of, let's just change the order, I should say. So we'll drag the uh, um, the age one underneath the underneath the uh, the banana search one. And now the banana search one is at the top. Let's turn edit mode off. And there we go. We've got a our, bana our banana search uh, feed. I mean, we could also have done it as a separate page, but um, yep, yeah, that's that's what we're doing. And uh, um, yeah, a quick and easy way of bringing in RSS feeds. And because a, a Twitter search is an RSS feed, um, you can you can use the same technique to bring that in as well. Now, the problem is the well, slight problem is that. You need to refresh this page to get the latest version. Um, oh great, let's just click on that. Um, it doesn't update automatically in real time. Um, it's not too important for things like this, but for a, a, for a search like this, it might be quite important. And the second example I'll show you and the next video shows a way that does automatically and continually update the Twitter exam the feed in the, in the page. Okay, I hope that's useful.